Good afternoon. It is 504 here in Florida and peace and love and blessings to everybody. Okay, you guys, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to do um, a few videos here. Please don't miss them. If you don't watch anything else today, watch these videos and I have to start here in order to properly articulate every single piece of the puzzle that was given to me about Gone with the Wind and the number 221. And uh, I'm going to stop this in uh, a few spots because it also correlates with our sister Amanda Christian. Okay, so here we go. Good afternoon, everybody. It's 514 here in Florida, and I'm sending out blessings to each and every one of you. And I want to share a very, very, very special video with you here today, you guys, because, well, everything that uh, happened pretty much just blew me away. Okay? Um... So, I'm going to start with a conversation that I had with our dear sister, Amanda Christian. I love her so very much, you guys. Um, and we, you know, we get on the phone and we talk about dreams and this and that and the other and uh, different things that correlate together. And I do her interpretations for the most part. You know, so, um, she was telling me about a dream that a sister had. I'm not going to divulge her name because I didn't ask her. And it doesn't matter. Um, right at this point. Now, this particular dream she had had an audible in it. And it was basically, I'll just put it this way, it was basically pointing to next year, November. Okay, I'm going to stop it right there. Now, uh, Amanda has had a uh, dream, and this was, uh, oh, four months back, three or four months back, somewhere in there, where she was, well, it might even be long, a little bit longer than that, okay? Um, well, she was standing on a road, and she saw cornfields on each side of her. And, um, well, we know that the cornfields are in reference to the Brexit, because that is, a, it's called the Corn Law. And I'm not going to get into all that because it's just too much to explain, okay? But just know that it has to do with Brexit. And um, so she's standing in the road. There's two cornfields on each side of her. There's an election going on. People are saying vote for Trump. People are saying vote for Biden. Uh, she gets into a car, and the car uh, is a car of Mexicans. It has a lot of Mexicans in it. She gets in the back seat with the children, uh, and uh, they're going to the International House of Pancakes. Now, International House, International House of Pancakes. You guys know that I've had Enoch Titlin uh, that was given to me by our sister Hilda Cynthia. The Holy Spirit told her to tell me to look it up. It's a, another long story, you guys, um, but it's all in my videos. Um, but anyways... Mexico has to do with the war god, also uh, known as the fire god, the fire serpent, and the god of turquoise. Amanda was given uh, turquoise is the color of war. I was given a dream about an Indian chief, um, turquoise Indian chief, that I was not allowed to pick up, um, that it didn't belong to me. Uh, and, I, I mean, I'm going through this really quick, you guys. There's so much. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, so the International House of Pancakes means grace because we know we have leavened bread, unleavened bread. Okay, now our flesh is not going to enter heaven. We're going to get a new incorruptible body that has no sin nature, but we are given grace. Um, so it's a, ty it's a type of grace, uh, a puffed up uh, leavened bread. For us, meaning that our sins are remembered no more. It's it's a done deal. All right. So I just wanted to share this with you. Now, this is going on during the election. Okay. With Trump and Biden. She didn't even know Biden was going to be running. Okay. When she had this dream. That's why I said it was longer than that. It was a, a little bit further back. Um, now, 
I looked up when uh, d does the election happen. It's November 3rd. Okay, so keep that in mind. Here we go. And then a vision and another dream was pointing to, well, it correlated with that dream. Maybe not so much to next November, but it just correlated with the dream that was pointing to November, okay, of next year. So, <laughs> well, I just wasn't having it. I uh, yeah, was like, you know, you know how little kids do. They stick their fingers in there. It's like, la, 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 I'm not hearing you. <laughs> so I was just like, uh, uh, I don't want to hear this. I want to go now. Yes, because I do want to go now, you guys. So uh, this was 2018. Um, and uh, I was thinking that we were going to get to go uh, before... I think the November of 19. Okay. So, well, we know my 2020 dream also. I found two 20s. So, anyways, let's go on. There's too much. After I got off the phone with her, <laughs> I was, uh, I was, uh, praying to the Lord. And, uh, I talked to him just like I talked to you guys, just like I talked to anybody. But, you know, there's some prayers that are really in reverence and in awe for the Lord. And then there are some where I'm just like just talking to him. And I was just saying, Lord, when are we going? Is it going to be next year, Father? Do we got to wait till November of next year? Eh. You know, I was crying like a little baby. <laughs> and, uh, well... You know, throughout my entire lifetime, you guys, I've uh, had utterances. And it started when I was young. The first utterance I can remember, I think I was in my early, well, I don't know. Gee, I don't know. Anyways, I've had utterances for a very long time. I think I was right around 30 years old. Okay. And these utterances, when I have them, it, they come out without me thinking. I'm not thinking about it. It just comes out. Okay? And then it comes exactly true. So that is an utterance of the Spirit when that happens. And you're like, where did that come from? I don't even know why you said it, right? Uh, so I'm talking to the Lord and um, asking Him to please. And every time I've ever asked the Lord to please get personalize something, to show me something, and to make it so that it can't be fabricated by anything else, and that I know it come, it is coming from Him and nowhere else. And uh, please make it personal, so that it just cannot be just random, okay? A random confirmation. Well, He did that. In a big, big way. So, let me explain. The day I put out the video that I was speaking out the gospel, I don't know if you guys have watched it or not. Um, in that particular video, I said that our sins are known. No, I said something to this manner, okay? I don't remember exactly what I said except for one part. I said, your sins are forgiven from the east to the west, east to the west, gone with the wind. And I've, I've never said that before. And as I was saying it, and when I'm speaking at the gospel, it just keeps coming out, you guys. The Holy Spirit kind of takes over and it just goes out of me, pretty much. And, um, as I was speaking it, and I said that, your sins are remembered no more from the east to the west, gone with the wind. I thought to myself in my mind, where did that come from? And, well, I just kept going and speaking the gospel. So, I just didn't think about it no more. But I thought, wow, that was a little odd, you know? 
That's not something I ever say, ever have said in any of my videos when I'm speaking of the gospel. Uh, so, I believe it was that night, I believe it was um, either the day prior, well, the, when I was making the gospel video, that was a, a day or so prior to Thanksgiving Day. And so, Thanksgiving Day night, you know, we we're all busy during the Thanksgiving holidays, you guys. Sorry about the little dog yelling in the background, you guys. It's my neighbor's dog down the street. She hates being put outside, and she yelps the whole time. But anyways, um, it's neither here nor there. Let's just ignore it. If you can hear it, I don't know if you can hear it. Um, but anyways, let's see, where was I? Oh, that night, I decided to go and look at the comments late that night. And I saw that our brother Earl had put a comment to me. He says, um, Happy Thanksgiving to you, Mr. and Mrs. Rich. And then he said, By the way, Karen and I are sitting here watching the movie Gone with the Wind. I was like, whoa, pretty neat. And I immediately thought of my mama because, you know, my mama, uh, that was her favorite movie of all time, Gone with the Wind. And, you know, and it also, to me, a little bit later as I thought about it, well, Gone with the Wind, Gone with the Holy Spirit, raptured. <laughs> okay, I'm going to give you some info there also. Um, in my 2020 dream... Uh, sorry, you guys, there is an ambulance going by, and we'll pray for them uh, in the neighborhood here. Okay, I'm um, sorry about that interruption. Okay, I hate seeing those, y'all. All right, so um, in my 2020 dream, again, my mama was in that dream. And the I don't have many dreams, you guys, but when I have them, they come true. And I mean exactly true. I was sitting in the floor here and um, my husband and I were sitting in the floor and we kept finding little treasures. And um, the first treasure I found was behind a picture. And uh, I think it was a, a family picture. And I think that has to do with you guys. Because um, of all the gifting you guys had uh, given us uh, just 10, 11 days ago, uh, to get us through a really, really rough spot in our lives. And uh, and God bless you, and I thank you so very much for that. And, and all your prayers and uh, all your encouragement and love. So, um, getting back to this, y'all. Okay, so when I opened up the back of the picture in my dream, there were two 20s. I now believe that it meant 2020. The year that we are in now, at the end of the dream, which is a very short dream, my mama went out the door, just to laughing and a giggling. And she said, Rush is your life insurance policy. And she was so happy. And I know that the Lord meant that I am your life insurance policy. And when the bombs come down, you go up. Again, this is about November. Again, this is about Gone with the Wind. So let's go on. You know, the wind is the spirit. Uh, one reference to it. One reference to him, I should say. Um, and so... After Amanda and I had spoke about that, um, I believe it was during that period of time there where the Gone with the Wind Oh, no, that was after. And, um, because we were talking about it, and she was saying, no, I think it might be next year. And I was like, la, 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 la. <laughs> I was joking around. And I was like, no, 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 no. And then I saw that from Brother Earl about Gone with the Wind. And then, later on, I saw that she left me a link. And because I told her about my utterance, and then I think I believe 
knew I told her about uh, Brother Earl had said that about Gone with the Wind also. And I'm trying to remember how this all went, you guys. Um, and then she left me a link. And so later on, I went back into the computer and I saw that she had left me a link. She says, you don't, you're not going to believe what popped up in my feed. So I pushed on it, right? And I thought, okay, what is it? Let me go check it out. What's Amanda sending me? And this is what she sent me. Now, I'm going to give you a little backdrop on this too. For two days in a row, you guys know my sleep patterns are all over the place. Um, for two days in a row, I woke up at exactly 2.21. And I looked at the clock and I was like, oh, 2.21 again. Huh. So, and one more thing about myself. Uh, I have this little habit sometimes, not all the times, whenever, that I'll say something three times. Now, I've been doing this for years and years and years. And because the number three is my favorite number because of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And number 333 three, three is my favorite number because of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit times three, you see? So, like, you know, if I want something to manifest or to, I'll say it sometimes, three times, you guys. It's just a little silly little thing I've done for a very, very, very long time, for as long as I can remember. So she sent me this link. Okay, and I want to remind you one more thing. I had looked up a little thing about Gone with the Wind after I talked with her, um, and it, it was Wikipedia, I believe, and it showed the book of Gone with the Wind, because I wanted to look up on it, because I hadn't watched that movie in years and years, you guys, and uh, it was talking about the Civil War in that movie. And martial law. And there were a couple other things, but I can't remember right now. But it's neither here nor there, so I don't want to make this video too long. But anyways, I'm going to play what she sent me. Now remember 221? And remember three times. And remember gone with the wind. Here we go. It's 221 a.m. Sunday, November 4th, 2018. My message is simple and quick, and if I said nothing else and just ended this video after saying it, that would be it. The message is, we're out of here. And for some reason, I feel I should say it three times, so two more times. We're out of here. We're out of here. So that's three times I said it. Okay, I'm going to stop that right there. Uh... That just gave me the goose pimples again. She didn't know about the 221 and she didn't know about the three times. She had no clue. And because I don't go around saying, oh, sometimes I say some, something three times to, you know, to try to enforce it or make it happen or, you know, it's just a silly little stupid thing I do. And um, when I heard this, I was... Lord, because I had prayed to the Lord again for a sign of something personal to let me know that we are going soon and it is not going to be in November and that I was going to be okay and Andy was going to be okay because we got some medical that need to be taken care of uh, and uh, you know and you know um, well we just don't have the money for it so, yeah, I'm praying for a really quick rapture, you guys. And uh, when I heard this, I was blown away. Blown away. I will leave the link to this video. And uh, one more thing. Two more things. I went and I told Amanda, I said, you're not going to believe this. I said, I do that all the time, about saying something three times, and also the 2.21, the clock, the time in the beginning of this video. And she said to me, did you see the thumbnail? <clears throat> that means the 
beginning of the page, you guys, when you all see the title. In case you don't have videos and you don't upload videos. And I said, no, why? She says, the thumbnail on this video is the book, Gone with the Wind. Now I had a dream about a year after my mama passed. And um, through the Holy Spirit, she came to me in my dream. And she was laughing and giggling, and she was going out the door. And she says to me, Rush is your life insurance policy. And you know what, you guys? The Lord knows it's so good that he knew exactly how I would take that and what it means to me. And it means that Jesus is our life insurance policy. I took that as a rapture dream. Amen. That when the bombs come down, we're out of here. And that's another thing about me. I say that all the time. We're, We're out, out of here. here. You can ask Susan. You can ask, well, you can ask a lot of the Shara big time. My husband, my sister, Andy, I said, I say that all the time. We're out of here. We're out of here. We're out of here, you guys. Very, very, very soon. I don't know when. But I feel... Okay, I'm going to stop it right there, y'all. Uh, <laughs> you know, when she sent me that link, it was just a fluke um, about the Gone with the Wind. And I listened to it. And when Patrick, Patrick L., and uh, God bless you, Patrick, and uh, he put there, and he, we didn't know each other at the time, and he put that in his video. He says it's 2.21 a.m. That was my third 2.21, you guys. That was my third confirmation. And he says, um, and for some reason, I feel like I need to say we're out of here. And for some reason, I need to say it two more times. We're out of here. We're out of here. Don't miss the next videos, you guys. I had to start here to give you a base, okay? God bless you all. Amen and amen.